I think that no matter what we are talking about, like sila or anything, just for oneself. Is that not right? Just for oneself to follow or to understand the benefit of having sila. But I think that the best thing in life is to understand the truth of life or of whatever is there. Because what is meant by enlightenment is not just think about this or that or sila or that, but to understand the absolute truth of what is there as it is. Otherwise, no matter we think about sila or sati or panya, all for ourselves to understand it, to follow it, to try to have it. But what is the truth of those moments from birth up to now? And that can be understood little by little because it's there all the time. That's why listen to the word of truth carefully to understand just one word as it is. For example, there is no I at all, no thing at all. What does it mean at all? In the absolute sense, in truth, it means that when the enlightened one said that there is no self and no thing at all, what did he mean about there's no one and no thing? It's so very absolute truth, no one and no thing, because of understanding what is there as it is, which does not appear as something or someone or any situation at all. That's why just learning to see the benefit of understanding the truth, which has been covered from eons and eons ago, and there's no time to understand it without hearing the words about it, whether it's true or not. For example, this moment, this, what is this? Only this, no other moment at all. Not self, no one. So what is there? What is seen looks like something or someone all the time from birth. But in truth, what is the truth of only this very moment, only one moment of seeing, one moment of hearing, one moment of thinking in life? There must be a moment of seeing, hearing, smelling, tasting, touching, and think about all that has been experienced from one moment to another moment until it becomes so very solid. The world of people and things and everything is just like that yesterday or the day before. But in truth, this moment cannot be the same as previous moment at all. That is unknown until the moment of hearing about no one. What is there? What is seeing? Because there is seeing right now and without understanding there must be the idea when there's no understanding of the truth of that very moment, when there is a moment of experiencing an, a reality or an object and no one there at all. So the moment of experiencing is I see because of not understanding what condition that moment to arise. And since it's arise, it appears and then it's gone unknowingly because from moment to moment, the, the object which is experienced must be different, unknown. Just like previous moment is not this moment. Hearing the word, the sound, different sound, different hearing all the time. So that is the absolute truth that if we don't talk about it, how can there be the understanding and more confidence of actually what is there? It's not anyone or anything at all. It's only the way it is, the reality, which is conditioned by its proper condition to be just only that and then gone, never to arise again. Just con consider the truth, whether it's true or not. When it's true, who can change the way it is? So is it wrong or right to take it for I because it's gone? never to return from moment to moment. So just understanding the truth, that's all. No expectation for this or that for oneself, because in truth, what we take for self is not self, because it's only conditioned reality, conditioned moment to be there, to arise and fall away. Just con con consider whether it's true or not, that's all. And the truth can be learned more and more 
until it is clearer and clearer little by little so it can appear as it is to the highly developed Banya, which has firm confidence of the truth as what appears is only one reality, one kind of a reality, because that which is heard, sound, is not smell, is not shape and form which can be seen at all. And this is life, from moment of birth to death, on and on and on and on, non-stop at all. And this is the absolute truth. Just learn little by little to let go the idea of sound, just for the sake of understanding the truth, so that the truth can show up as it is, when there is no ignorance and attachment which blinds up what is there as it is, that which just is there arising and falling away, is there to be known, to be realized for sure, but with right understanding of the truth from the very beginning. Understanding right now, just listen to understand whether it's true or not. What is there is that which is there, only there and then gone. Never to be found again, no matter in life, this life or this side of whatever it life is. Is it true? Just understand the truth. And that which understand the truth is not self, is not me too. But it's the moment of a reality which arises and understands the truth of what is there right now, little by little. So no matter we talk about sila or anything, just to understand the different kinds of different realities, wholesome or unwholesome. Where is not self? What is it? That which cannot experience anything at all, or that which experiences an object in different manners, different characteristics, and different function, and then gone from moment to moment. Just have more confidence of the truth. That's the way to understand better and better, and the object can appear clearer and clearer. But what we mean by clearer is very, very little at a time. Cannot be known how subtle it is. Just right now, this moment, the understanding of the truth can let go the clinging to the idea of self, naturally by itself, 